Hello little Cobras, it's Miss Kristen here and today we're doing uh, some kids jujitsu. Today we're going to be focusing on the mount position and we're going to get to do one of my favorite submissions to teach from the mount which is the arm bar. So we're going to have a super fun time today. Remember the first two rules of class, rule number one is respect, treating others the way you would like to be treated. The second rule is going to be discipline, which is doing the right thing even though when no one is watching. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, get right into it. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video and punch that thumbs up button. Okay, so we can go ahead, it helps me out a lot. And then also, if you'd like to support the channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon that help kind of helps me kind of put out more content weekly. So let's go ahead and get started. So today we're gonna to go ahead and start with our kangaroo hops. We're gonna go forward and backwards for about 30 seconds to a minute, give or take. So what I'm looking for is our hands are gonna go in the middle. We're gonna get into our squat stretch. So use our squat stretch. Now what we're looking for is we're gonna go forward, hands, feet, hands, feet, and then we're gonna go backwards. So feet, hands, feet, hands. I'm just gonna go back and forth about three or four times. Hands, feet, hands, feet, Feet, hands, feet, hands. Hands, feet, hands, feet. Feet, hands, feet, hands. Hands, feet, hands, feet. Feet, hands, feet, hands. Going backwards. Good job. Now we're going to get to our side bend sit. So this is very similar to our S mount. Legs are in front of us. Stand up nice and tall. Now, if you need to, you can hold your key, making sure you're keeping your hands. Now we're gonna do a transition. So we're gonna bring our leg in front of us. One, two, and then back behind us. Trying to stay as upright as possible. So in front of us, behind us. In front of us, behind us. So we're gonna do five each side. And that was our fifth one. Okay, so we did our kangaroo hops, we did our side bends and transition. Now we're gonna get into our squat stretch. So, we do our squat stretch. Remember, we're gonna start to nice and tall. And we're gonna go ahead and get sink nice and low. We're gonna use our elbows to push our knees out. Sink into it one side, then the other. Making sure we're stretching our ankles. Nice and low. Knees always point towards our pinky toes. Okay, now we're gonna stand up. We're gonna do 10 squats really, really quick. So we're gonna go down, one, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, 10. Get back into our stretch. Awesome. Level 10 focus. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into some solo drills. So we're gonna do our squat stretch to a deep knee touch. These are all the movements we're gonna need solo drill wise to do the move of the day, which is the arm bar. So our solo drills, we start with our squat stretch. Now when we do our deep knee touch, we're gonna turn. Our knee touches the ground, active toes on the back leg. Now I'm facing this direction, it's almost like a combat base to the side. Come back up, deep knee touch, combat base, facing the side here, come back up. Deep knee touch to our combat base, come back up. Deep knee touch, combat base, come back up. Deep knee touch, come back up. Two more each side. And two. Very nice. Now we're back into that squat. Now we're going to get on all fours. My hands underneath my shoulders and my feet underneath my hips. So this is kind of like our bear crawl position. Now we're going to start by picking up our opposite hand or our opposite foot. Opposite, opposite. We're going to move straight into our four point base drill. So opposite and opposite. Now we step underneath 
or point base. So now we're kind of in our crab walk position. Now we're going to pick up our opposite foot and our opposite hand. Step under. Step under. Step under. Just like bad break dancing. And time. Good job. So back to our level two focus. So we've done our squat. Did our deep knee touch on our four point base. Now we're going to try to combine some of the movements we did to do our arm bar movement. Now for arm bar movement, we can do it on our hands or our knuckles, whatever's more comfortable for you. And we're going to start in a kind of a squat. You can go heels on the ground or on your toes. So we're going to put our hands on the mat. Our hands are not going to move. Now we're going to swing our body to the side so we'll be facing the other direction. So even though at the camera, my body's going to face the opposite direction of the swing. And then my leg goes straight here. So my hands stay here. And then my leg is extended and I'm facing the opposite way. Now I'm going to swing back. So swing. Swing back. Swing. Swing back. Swing. See, I'm facing the wall. Swing back. Swing, 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 swing back. Back to our level 10 focus. So we did our warm ups, we did our solo drills. So now that we're kind of pretty warm right now, we're gonna go ahead and start working with our partner drill, or our partner drill with a parent, or our partner drill with a bear. I will be using bear drills today. So we've been working on mount this whole time during the, the quarantine. So we're gonna continue with that. So we've worked on a lot of ways to maintain the mount position. Just to review some of them that we've gone over. We've gone over when the person pushes us side to side, Hooking the head and basing. Hooking the head and basing. We've also done if they start to shrimp or turn on their side, like push their head, push the head. We've also done pulling the hands off the knees and sliding up into high mount. Today, we're gonna do one of a really important basic that I think a lot of people, or a lot of kids do wrong because they try to just push the arms out. So we are gonna do the one today if the person's pushing up on our chest. Now Bear Drills, he doesn't have super long arms, so we're gonna to have to use our imagination here. So when he pushes up on my chest, the first thing I wanna do is make myself heavy. I'm gonna hang on. If I'm sitting back here, Bear Drills is really strong. So what I wanna do is I wanna lean forward when a person pushes up on my chest. They lean forward to make my their arms heavy, so I wanna hang on them. Now I'm going to turn my shoulders and then swim through the arms one at a time. So what it's going to look like is person pushes up on me. I'm going to lean forward. My shoulders turn. Now the arm that's back swims through the arms. Okay. They push up. I lean forward to make myself heavy. Like I'm going to hang on them like a wet towel. Turn my shoulders. Swim. So we're going to do that about 10 times. So here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, making sure we have a good base. So this is maintaining the mouth, swimming through our opponent's arms. Okay? So we've done our warm ups and our solo drills and then our partner drills. So once you get ready, and we're gonna be working on the arm bar today. Now, the secret to the arm bar, because I know kids love arm bars. Who doesn't love arm bars? Okay, it's very important that you have a 
perfect S mount. If your S mount is perfect, the arm bar is easy. But if your S mount is not perfect, the position isn't perfect, it is very difficult to arm bar a really strong person. So we're gonna focus on the S mount first. And we're gonna make it a little different and a little easier because we're going to start from standing, which is crazy, but it's gonna make it a lot easier. So I'm gonna stand in the bad guy's armpits. So I'm gonna stand in Bear Jill's armpits. I gotta get his arm out. His arm is not where it should be. Much better, Bear Jill's. There we go, much more visible. So I'm gonna stand up high in the bad guy's armpits. Very important. Now I'm gonna do my squat. For my person on the ground or your dummy, you wanna be have like zombie arms. So I squat. This should be pretty comfortable We're not falling on anybody. Now you guys remember that deep knee touch we did in the solo drills? We're gonna turn and do that deep knee touch. So we're almost doing like combat base facing this direction, just like our solo drill. Now, if you remember that kind of side bend sit we do, we're gonna take our heel and point it towards the bad guy's ear. I should be kind of sitting on the bad guy, but I should feel pretty comfortable. I should not be trying to hover over top of them. I should be very comfortable, kind of looking at the wall. Now to finish, all we're gonna do, so this is like what we're looking for for a perfect S mount. So I'm gonna show ahead and show it from a different angle. So we're here. Should be in our spot. We're gonna walk really high in the armpits. This is very important. Now the arms are up, and now I'm gonna squat. Should be in a good squat, should be pretty comfortable. I'm gonna turn. I got my deep knee touch. So see I'm facing you guys. So I'm all the way to the side, my knee is really high towards the opponent's ear. Now I'm gonna put my heel towards the opponent's ear. So this is our S mount, very similar to the stretch we did in the beginning of class. So once I get here, and this is perfect, now we can do the arm bar. And there's a lot of different ways to finish it. We're gonna do a really simple way today. So this is the simple way I like to teach the kids. I'm gonna hug the arm. Now I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna base and lean towards the legs. And I do this so that way the kids don't fall off. We don't all fall. We wanna make sure we have lots of control. So remember that transition we did? We're gonna bring the leg around the head and just get to here first. Notice I didn't fall backwards yet. I always wanna bring the leg around the head before I sit back. Then I sit back and I don't fall. I don't want you to fall yet. I wanna just hold this position have good posture and kind of pinch our knees together. That's what we're looking for. Just right here and just hang out. Don't, don't rip your parents' hand arm off. They need it for stuff. So again, other direction. We're gonna stand really high in the armpits. We're gonna squat. Making sure we get that nice deep squat here. Feel really comfortable, okay? Now, deep knee touch all the way to the ear. Point the heel towards the opponent's ear. Now we're in our perfect S mount. Now we're gonna hug the arm and we're gonna base. We base and lean towards the bad guy's legs. And I'm leaning forward and towards the bad guy's legs to make this leg light. I shave the leg around the head, then I sit back. When I sit back, I sit back to here. So you have really good posture here. This is what we're looking for. This should be pretty comfortable. It's not comfortable, this is gonna be really tricky. So this should be, I just shouldn't just fall and be like, oh no, I lost the arm. Right here is where it should be. So if that's all pretty good, we're obviously not gonna stand over a bad guy in real life. So the way we're gonna get into this arm bar today is the person's still gonna push up on our chest, our partner giving us zombie arms, but instead of swimming through the arms, we're gonna imagine like they're the floor and we're gonna do that kangaroo hop on our partner or our bad guy. So I'm gonna take one arm over top, one arm underneath, and I'm gonna take my hands on the bad guy's chest, okay? This is gonna go ahead, and like they're about to do that kangaroo hop. So I'm gonna do that kangaroo hop, hop up into my squat. Remember, my feet should be in the armpit. Now, I do my deep knee touch, knees on the ground, legs facing this way, heel towards the ear. Perfect S mount. Don't change a thing until this S mount is perfect. Now I'm gonna hug the arm and I base, leaning towards the legs. Then I shave the leg around the head and sit straight to this posture position. So once you get to here, take a second, make sure everything's right. I'm pulling my heels in, pinching my knees together. Notice I'm close to bear drills and not over here. Everything's great. I'm gonna hug the arm. Now, I want you to imagine like you're sliding down a fire pole, okay? We slide on a fire pole, we don't want the arm, we don't want away from us, we want it close to us. 
So we're gonna go close to us. And we're gonna sit back slowly. Now, if there's for some reason they're still not tapping, we're gonna go ahead and do our hip bridge. Now, if you remember from earlier, our hip bridge is straight up to finish. And that's our arm bar. Now, I know that seems like a lot of little steps, but if you get all the little steps right, the whole move will be better. So don't focus on the arm bar as one move. Focus it on the, all these like little steps and make all your little steps perfect, and then the arm bar will be perfect. I promise. But if you focus on just doing like just doing the arm bar fast, you'll never get it right. And ask me how I know. I've been doing this for a little bit. So we're gonna take our arms, one arm over top, one arm underneath. So remember, this is gonna be just like the bad guys pushing up on our chest. But instead of swimming through the arms, we're gonna pop up into our kangaroo hop. See that kangaroo hop? That was a pretty good kangaroo hop. And then my good squat, deep knee touch. Now my heel points towards Bear Drill's ear. So now I'm in my good S mount. But trap the arm and base. Once I base, I'm gonna shave this knee around the head, good position, and then I sit. When I sit, I'm gonna sit with really good posture here. Okay, pulling my heels in, pinching my knees together. Now, hugging this arm tight to me. Now, I'm gonna sit back slowly, and then if for some reason I need, I can't finish it still, I'm gonna hit bridge to finish. Thank you, Bear Drills. So if there's a secret, I was gonna say that you need help with. You can always ask questions in the comment section if for some reason you don't quite understand something that Miss Kristen is doing. I would like you to write in the comment section or have your parents write in the comment section. So that will kind of help you guys out. So, little trick for the arm bar. You want your partner's thumb up. So if they're giving you a thumbs up, it's a good arm bar. So if their arm is kind of twisted and all these weird angles, when we hug the arm to our arm, the thumb should be up, not pointed down at you. So that's a little trick to kind of help you with the finish of the arm bar. The other thing is when you're practicing at home, it is very important that when your part, when something hurts, no matter what it is in jujitsu, that you always tap. And we don't tap the ground, we tap our partner, or we say tap. Now, but if you have like a stuffed animal or a dummy at home, I would highly recommend just practice on that so you don't even have to worry about it. But still, when your partner taps, what do we do? We let go, it's very important. We do not want to keep holding on the arm. We don't just stop applying pressure. We let go completely so no one gets hurt. And that's what makes jujitsu fun is because people don't get hurt. Okay? So those are just little safety tips. Now, those seem like a lot of steps to get that arm bar perfect. But if you don't have a partner at home, you can do all those solo drills we did at the beginning of class as part of the warm up to make your arm bar better. Okay? And the more you practice that, the easier it's going to be. Because remember, Drillers make killers, very important. So now we're gonna talk about, we did the warm up, we did the solo drills, we did the partner drills, and we did the move of the day, which is the arm bar from mount. So now we're gonna finish up with just talking about some games you can play at home with your parents, or uh, if you have like siblings. So two games I would recommend is uh, the wet blanket drill, where we kind of hang on the person like a wet blanket, and you, what you're doing is you're gonna start to hold mount as long as possible, at least 10 seconds, with your parent. And they're gonna either try to push you off side to side or push up on your chest or try to get to their side or try to push on one of your knees. And all you have to do is stay in mount as long as possible. If you can stay in mount as long as possible, you're good. The second drill I would recommend you play if you have like a sibling who also trains jujitsu. You know that crawling that we were doing with like the kangaroo hops, the hand knee crawling or the hand foot crawling? Get on your hands and your feet and it's kind of like tag, it's called quick hands. So we're gonna get in our curl position and we try to touch each other's hands in like 10, 20 seconds. Now mind you, when you're doing this quick hands, your knees can't touch the ground. That's what makes it tricky. So that's a good way to kind of work on your core strength and make yourself stronger for jujitsu. So the two games this week are going to be wet blanket, hanging on the person like a wet blanket, and quick hands. Those are gonna be the two games. Okay, so I was going to say that um, if there are any questions for Miss Kristen about anything that we did today, please write in the comment section. If you don't have any questions, then we can call it a day. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in for my weekly class. Every Tuesday at 6 p.m., 
Eastern Standard Time, I'm doing a kids jujitsu class. So this is great for the kids who are stuck at home and want to do stuff with their parents. Or this is also really great for instructors um, who teach jujitsu who want maybe some other ideas for running their own kids class. So regardless, either is fine. So I just want to say, say thank you guys so much for tuning in today. And just a quick reminder, make sure you like, share, and subscribe the video, all this good stuff, and to hit that thumbs up button for me. And then also, if you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. That really helps me out and really kind of uh, helps me put out content like every week, especially during the quarantine uh, when I'm not teaching in real life. I am also available for Zoom lessons online, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. You can contact me directly if you are interested. Great job today, guys. And remember, drillers make killers.